And I exposed this also. So I'm going to get this up on the screen here. Okay. This is episode 96, March 2nd, 2022. And the title, Exposed LVMPD Negligence, a Factor in Kidnapping Slash Rape of Boy by Sex Offender on House Arrest. Again, according to my sources, that 14-year-old boy should never have been raped because the sex offender that raped him, who was on house arrest, should have been picked up way before that because he violated his GPS ankle monitor boundaries. And the people who were monitoring that in the correction center, which is the Las Vegas Metro Police Department, part of the police department, um, didn't do that. Up. They weren't watching it. So that's what that one's about. So we have two kids in three years who were raped and kidnapped because of police negligence. Sheriff Lombardo, if you want to come on my podcast or put out a statement and talk about this to explain, maybe if you want to say I'm totally wrong and my sources are lying, then come out and talk about it because you want to be the governor of the state of Nevada. And right now, like I said, in my opinion, and I quote you this, you are corrupt, you're a liar, and you're completely freaking incompetent. So you want to talk, you know how to reach me. You can reach to the PIO. Let the PIO put out a statement saying these things are nonsense, okay? Because they're not, and you know that they're not. So let me go back over here. Let me go over here. I'm here today to provide a briefing on a sexual assault investigation that we're con currently conducting in the Northeast Area Command at the 4200 block of East Tonopah, which is located in the area of Lamb and Lake Mead. Earlier this morning at approximately 6.20 in the morning, Northeast Patrol officers responded to the area of the 4200 block of Tonopah, referenced a 14-year-old juvenile who was walking to school and was sexually assaulted. Based on the details of the crime, sex crimes detectives responded to the investigation and took over the investigation. And during that investigation, after an extensive interview with the victim, we learned that the victim was walking on Tonopah where he was approached by a black male, later identified as Willie Collins, as you see to my left. Mr. Collins approached the male, uh, our victim, and he uh, simulated that he had a firearm and said that he would kill the victim if he did not comply with his request. He then directed the victim to a back alley located on the north side of Tonopah. Once in the back alley, he directed the victim into a dumpster enclosure where he proceeded to sexually assault our victim. During the sexual assault, our victim and the male suspect, Mr. Collins, were involved in a uh, fight during which our victim thankfully was able to flee the area uh, to a nearby witness. The suspect then fled the area westbound on Tonopah. Uh, based on the severity of the crime that we are investigating, uh, the LVMPD uh, immediately initiated the major case protocol on this case. And during that major case protocol, uh, we used every last resource on this investigation uh, to begin our investigation and begin identifying who our suspect was. During our canvas of the scene, we located numerous uh, videos of our suspect without his pants on. And during uh, that video review, we noticed that the male suspect, Mr. Collins, had an ankle monitor on his leg. That ankle monitor is consistent with the ankle monitor worn by someone who's on house rest out of Clark County Detention Center. We immediately, utilizing our house rest at Clark County Detention Center, uh, were able to determine that Mr. Collins' ankle bracelet was in the area of the sexual assault at the time of the sexual assault. 
through additional investigative means. Thankfully, we were able to identify Mr. Collins definitively as our suspect in the sexual assault. Approximately six hours after the sexual assault occurred at 12.30 p.m., we were able to take Mr. Collins into custody at his residence, which is located approximately a quarter mile away from the scene of the crime. Mr. Collins is currently in custody, and he, when he is booked into CCDC, he will be booked on battery with intent to commit sexual assault, kidnapping, sexually motivated, and two counts of sexual assault with a victim under 16. Right now, we're in the process of still continuing and furthering our investigation by conducting numerous search warrants and interviews related to this investigation. And with that, I'll take any additional questions you may have. Why was he in house arrest? Um, what charges was he facing? He currently was on house arrest out of North Las Vegas for a robbery with deadly weapon charge. Did the victim sustain any significant injuries in the fight? In this case, I would say the victim sustained quite a bit of injuries in regards to not only physical, but obviously emotional injuries that come from a traumatic experience like this. Um, can you explain the age protocol and just sort of um, some of the more details uh, about somebody who may be unfamiliar with how that works? So a major case protocol is something that our department came up with to organize our investigative resources and patrol resources and community service groups throughout the valley towards an investigative goal and to make sure that everybody's going in the same direction and we're not duplicating efforts, but that we are all working towards uh, successfully uh, the completion of the investigation and obviously uh, identifying those who committed the crime. Does he have any prior um, charges or history with sexual assault? Uh, he is a registered sex offender for open and gross lewdness. And can you say, maybe not what school the student was walking to, but how close they were to the school when this happened? Um, I'm not going to say what school it is, but it is a school in the area of where it occurred. But do you know how, approximately how close I do, I do not. Is there possible any other victim by I can, him? Say again? Is there any other victim by him? Uh, the question is, is there any other victims? Uh, at this time, I'm not aware of any reports that would tie him to any other sexual assaults we're investigating at this point in time. However, as part of our, our natural investigation, we will be looking at that. You said he indicated to the victim he had a gun to make him comply. Was that true? That is correct, but he did not have a firearm, and we did not take him into custody with a firearm or a weapon. The, the victim was a 14-year-old boy, yeah? The victim was a 14 year old male. All right. And uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. It's a freaking disgrace. This was a major cover up by Sheriff Joe Lombardo, who's now running for governor of Nevada. And everybody knows what I think of him. He's an incompetent, documented liar. And he's corrupt. He's covered things up, kept them from the press, kept them from the public. Sheriff Joe Lombardo is pissed off because I keep breaking these stories that police officers are leaking to me. Stories that he wanted never to see the light in the public domain. So, too bad, Joe Lombardo. The public has a right to know what's being concealed because we're paying for our police officers. We're paying for our assistant district attorneys. We vote the district attorney in. We vote the sheriffs in. So the public has a right to know when these guys cover these things up um, and the public never finds out about it unless you keep digging and get it out. So I get it out in this forum here. It was episode 96, ladies and gentlemen, published on March 2nd, 2022. The title, Exposed, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Negligence, a factor in kidnapping rape of boy, listen to this, by sex offender on house arrest. And you could read that story, I don't want to give it away, but there was a uh, convicted sex offender on house arrest wearing an ankle monitor, and the police personnel who was supposed to monitor, because you have certain boundaries, certain limits where you can go, you can't go out certain areas. Well, they were, they were for lack of a better word, sleeping on the job, and, and this guy violated his limits where he's supposed to move. And in doing so, one day, 
he, um, a, a little 14 year old kid was going to school, a boy, and he kidnapped him and, and raped him uh, because of police negligence.